Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. The gentleman was here for two days. He was just in the process of like remodeling his house and just put a new roof on. Newport, no. Where are we? Port Ritchie, Florida. Super, super, super minimal job. I think we've been here 20 minutes. Most of that was signing contracts. They only want the tile wiped. We're not allowed to do anything with pulling anything or like destroying anything. So we are sanitizing the walkway. The gentleman was here for two days he was just in the process of like remodeling his house and just put a new roof on i got the call yesterday while i was in orlando yesterday and scheduled it for this morning so this job seemed to be a super super large job so we had dispatched the full crew including the camera crew the filming crew and uh, we drove the two hours out there. We got maybe, maybe 15 minutes of footage on the entire job that took us an hour because the client was heavily monitoring every move we made to make sure that we didn't do any type of demo or destruction. Um, so even during the explanation processes to the client, it was more or less one of those it's okay, I don't care type of things that should have been a much, much larger job and jobs like that don't happen very often. Most of the time the client's like, oh my gosh, I need to get this gone. I need to get this taken care of so we don't have an issue. So we got a, you know, two to three minute clip out of 15 minutes worth of filming because we were just being so highly watched and highly dictated on what happened to the property. The area that we had done um, was immediately as you walked in the door. And it couldn't have been more than a five foot by, by four foot section um, that needed to come out. And even at that, with the terrazzo flooring underneath, um, the client just didn't didn't want to have to do that. So um, it was a super small, super small space. So Juan was working on the outside, working his way in, and I was working from the inside, working my way in, to where eventually we ended up just meeting in the middle. don't even feel that we broke a sweat on that job because it was so minimal. And the only thing we were allowed to do was wipe clean. At the end of the day for that job, the only thing I think I could take away from that job was the fact that some people just don't care. They try to get off as cheap as possible. They also, you know, try to avoid any extra that they have to deal with. So, um, that's something I'm not used to. I guess there are people out there in the world. So we already cleaned all the floor with bar A, but we have a hole right here with seal indicating. To be honest, we should remove the tile, but we can't, so I'm gonna try to clean again. We are in Clearwater, Florida today. Uh, we're at a water mitigation job. Uh, call came in about an hour and a half ago. Uh, a customer on uh, late Sunday noticed that their sink, which is behind me here, uh, had sprung a leak down not only below uh, from the water lines, but then also was spraying water out the top. Fill the water, feel this water coming out here. It's just filling up. Hey, this is Ryan with Spalding Decon. 
We are in Clearwater, Florida today. Uh, we're at a water mitigation job. Uh, call came in about an hour and a half ago. Uh, customer on uh, late Sunday noticed that their sink, which is behind me here, uh, had sprung a leak down not only below uh, from the water lines, but then also was spraying water out the top. Um, so we got the call from the insurance company. Uh, we're taking a look at everything. I'm about to kind of investigate uh, the full extent of the water damage itself. Uh, the plumbing repair has been fixed, so there's no active leak uh, at this point. And uh, we're gonna check things out, get started. Damage to the countertop is extremely visible. Uh, I'm not allowed to remove that without the insurance company giving me the go ahead. So plus they've also, they're using the sink as their only sink in the kitchen here. So it's functioning, it's not leaking out because the plumbing repair has been fixed. So I'm gonna leave it um, you know, as long as I can. Uh, we'll probably be able to touch base with the adjuster uh, sometime later today or tomorrow. I'm sure they're going to us go ahead to at least remove the countertop. I'm going to try to save the cabinets. It's a tile floor, so there's no work to be done there. Uh, and it might have a little bit of baseboard to pull out. But um, there's very little demo today. It's more of kind of preliminary get my equipment set up to start the drying process. So it should be a quick one. So all of this has been water damage and it's all dry now. It's completely dry, but it's just all. I'm going to well, I mean, a certain. So when it beeps like this, this is a pin meter. And when it beeps like that, it's 100% saturated. Yeah, so take my pin meter, and basically these pins read the moisture levels when you stick it into uh, the building material, whether it's the baseboard or the drywall or the, you know, whatever you stick it into. So what it'll do is it'll tell me the, the moisture level. So obviously I'm testing areas that uh, we know have been affected, but I'm also testing areas that have not been affected to get my baseline. Right now it is extremely hot and humid in this, in the home. It's about 82 and a half, 83 degrees, um, and very humid because they've had so much water in here uh, the last couple of days. So we're gonna get our equipment in here and definitely get the dehumidifier to suck a lot of this moisture out, which will help, help the drying process. Uh, tremendously. Pretty sure we're going to be able to dry the cabinets out themselves. It's an older style cabinet, which is actual real wood. We're going to try to salvage as much as we can here. And um, the paneling in the hallway behind me uh, has got a, has definitely has some water uh, absorbed into it. But you know, hopefully we can dry it out. It's only in the bottom. You know, it looks like a couple inches at the most. So we'll, we'll see what we can do to salvage everything, everything that we can. I don't have any pry bars, so what I'm going to do. Is I'll take the utility knife, I'll score the top of the baseboard, and then I'll just use a flathead screwdriver to kind of get in there and pry it out just real slowly, and then get the hammer in there and just I'll just work it. It's just easier with a flathead pry bar because that's what they're designed to do. You kind of tap them in and pop the baseboard out, and you're good to go. So it's a concrete floor. Obviously, there's a little bit of flex in this tile, and it's not that one. It's a little bit in this one, but it's mainly this one. So we'll be able to dry that out. It's so minimal. It's not like it's super loose. It's just got a tiny bit of flex in it, which, you know, tile has a little bit of flex in some cases, but hopefully we can dry it out enough so it doesn't have to be removed. It might need to be rerouted. Uh, maybe a couple tiles popped up and reset. There's a little bit on this spot here, on that joint as well, but the bulk of it is, you know, completely solid and, and secure. Yeah, you can see the grout line's cracked. It's got a crack here, and then there's a crack there. And just a little bit of water got in there. The potential there is a couple of these tiles might need to be removed, so we'll see if we can kind of suck that moisture out and maybe they can re it. Kind of layered in sheets to make a sheet of plywood, and it's that water is soaked in, so it's just kind of peeling off. I'm gonna get as much of it out as I can uh, because it's it's buckling and it's just peeling off and it smells. Um, I got that moisture smell. It just smells really kind of that mildewy, you know, just just like it's starting to rot kind of smell. Usually underneath cabinets that it just the water just kind of go, you know, drains out. Um, it's just sitting in here. It's amazing. Never seen that before. 
And so my guess is that water is all the way underneath here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my vacuum, suck that out, and then hopefully I'll be able to tell, you know, once I suck this out, if the water's kind of coming in from the sides, then I gotta get this whole thing out of here. It almost seems like there's a little bit of water under each side. So I'm scoring the top where it's caulked and painted in this piece of quarter round into the cabinet. But it's soaking wet. It's grouted in, it's caulked in, it's painted in. It's not you know, it's old school, so it's built well. Part of the issue I'm having is I can't turn off the sink. There's no shut off valves. So I couldn't rip this out today if I needed to without shutting the whole house down. I don't want to do that. It's just when I'm hitting the wood, you can just see the water. Fill the water. See how this water coming out here? Just filling up. insurance does that or not. If it's my house, I'm 100% ripping this floor out. The last thing I did, I sprayed antimicrobial uh, around all the baseboards, throughout the kitchen, into that hallway. That floor really needs to be completely removed. We'll make the call there. We'll come and do moisture checks tomorrow. Hopefully, we get a hold of the adjuster to give us approval to uh, remove those items I just talked about. If that's the case, we'll rip all that out, get everything cleaned up, and just put some drying equipment in for another day or two. At that point, it'll dry really fast. Hey guys, we know that you hated, absolutely hated, the hiatus we took for like, I don't know what felt like 12 years, but you know, it actually only ended up being like two months. So guess what? Today is the end of season three, and next week, next Thursday at noon, start season four. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. See you next Thursday. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it, guys.